that. Where were you born? Rochester, New York. And tell me about your home life growing up. What was it like? Um, home life was pretty good. Uh, it was a lot of fun. You know, when you're young, you don't really know what you don't have. Mm -hmm. Until you get older. So I never really was like an unhappy kid. My grandmother made sure of that, so I was pretty good when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. And... Who, what was your home life like inside your house? What, did you have your mother, your father, your brother? Uh, my, my, I had my uh, mother, my grandmother, my two uncles, and four or five aunties. Oh, wow. Loaded house. <laughs> two sisters. I had two little sisters. Uh -huh. And yeah. what, what kind of neighborhood did you grow up in? Um, well, it, was, it wasn't that garish. It was uh, it was okay. We had a nice street, uh, family oriented street. Uh, it was pretty nice over that way, actually. Yeah. And who got you interested in boxing? Uh, my neighbor. He took his son there. Took us all there. Uh, me uh, and my son. My uh, not my son. Excuse me. Me, my friend Pookie, and my four cousins. Mm-hmm. And yeah. how old were you when you walked in the gym? I was about eight years old. Oh, wow. Got started young. Yeah. Who were some of the heroes growing up? I'm sorry. I didn't uh, want to interrupt. I have no two men had neighborhood heroes. Didn't have Muhammad him? Ali. Uh-huh. Okay. Muhammad Ali was... Who I still have? I'm sorry. I keep over-talking you. <laughs> What'd you say? Muhammad, Muhammad. Muhammad Ali, the only one I ever chose to be a hero with my grandmother. Uh-huh. That's, that's good. And in 1987... You were the U.S. lightweight champion. How, how'd that feel to win that, that yes, fight? Um, it felt good to me to win a tournament, but I thought I was going to win anyway, so it never really was a big thing to me. So I was used to winning. Yeah. Well, you are the natural. You know what I mean? Yeah. Huh? You're the natural. You better think <laughs> <you're the natural. laughs> Yeah, I was, I was also just to win there. I thought I was going to win anyway. I mean, that was my, my friends told me I know what I just did. I probably don't still know, but the reality is, I thought I was going to win anyways. Mm -hmm. And did you try to qualify for the 88 Olympics? Yes. I lost the top four to the finals. I thought I beat him, but... Mm -hmm. he, was, he, was, uh, he was eager to fight. I thought he was uh, a good fight. He was national no champ that year, too. Mm -hmm. He was 139, but I thought I beat him. And what other tournaments as an amateur did you win that you're particularly proud of? Uh, I won U.S. Uh, Eastern Olympic Trials. Mm -hmm. And I won an outstanding fight of the tournament. How'd that feel? Uh, great. Man. Oh, man. You know, some, sometimes you fight uh, and you, you see other people who don't feel just afraid they're more deserving than you are. Mm -hmm. So it's like when I won a tournament, I was really, really happy. But when I went off standing fire, I felt better than that. Mm -hmm. So, like, great. And, um... I still got the gloves, too. Oh, do you? <laughs> yeah, the trophy they gave us, yeah. Yeah? They, they gave us a pair of gold gloves. What, do you got, like, a little room in your house all loaded with your trophies? Yeah, yeah, sure. And that's nice, man. Nice, nice things to talk about when you get company. <laughs> yes, sir. And... Tell me, tell me about the uh, Four Horsemen. Were you a part of the Four Horsemen? Uh, no, I probably Triple Threat. Yeah, the Triple Threat. T tell me about the Triple Threat when you turned pro. Uh, those guys were like big brothers to me. Yeah. Uh, Ray Murray, man, Ray Murray was close to me and Cole. We all had different kind of relationship, though. Mm -hmm. They both, they both were kind of the same size. So the relationship was like me and uh, the other two. Mm-hmm. I just no. talked to Al Cole the other day, and he was saying he was telling me a little something about it. Yeah, him and him and Merce was they like kind of they kind of beef a lot because it is the same size. Mm -hmm. But me, I had this we do it, so I just wanted to win. Yeah. <laughs> and what do you remember about Turner Pro? Who who'd you fight, and what was the outcome? And uh, when uh, watch it actually frequently just show the other guys that I trained where I did how I done it. Um, it was in Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. I beat him pretty easy. So, I don't forget his name. But I won pretty easy. Uh-huh. And how'd you feel after getting your first pro win? Uh, other guys already had their fight, so I just wanted to win. Mm-hmm. 
Harrison wasn't no dollar when it was uh, stopping or not. I always think I'm going to win. never think about losing. It doesn't matter if I go the distance or not. Yeah, that's it. You don't even let it get in your mind, huh? No, I'm putting moves in my mind, nope. And you stayed real busy and real active. You had like yeah. five, six, yes, seven sir. fights a year. Yeah. Before well, you know, that was that was that was great though. Yeah. And before you knew it, you were fighting Mickey Ward for the USBA Championship. Bring me through that yeah. fight. What was that like fighting a young Mickey Ward? Uh, easy. Mm -hmm. No, no disrespect, but I didn't, didn't think he was better than I was. Mm -hmm. So it's a matter of can I go twelve rounds or not. Uh -huh. So I proved that much to myself more than anybody. That I go 12 rounds, so other than that, I was pretty good. I didn't think he could beat me. So, now, why were you yeah. nervous about going 12 rounds? Were you? Uh, this is not bad, this has been unfamiliar territory. Mm -hmm. So it's a matter of can I go. So, so, and once I did. Say it again? I'm sorry. Once I went 12 rounds, I mm -hmm. thought I, I could do anything. Yeah. And how did it feel winning your first championship as a pro? Great. <laughs> plus, plus, I was home. Oh, yeah? Rochester? Yeah, yeah, I made it better, yeah. That's nice. Yeah, yeah. And what did you think when you got in the dressing room and you were looking at that belt? Did you even stop looking at I, it all night? No, I, I said was I done it. <laughs> but, but I had still more goals to accomplish. Uh -huh. Won't quite finish it. And that's it. Then you fought Terrence Ali for the NABF championship. Yep, that's my first loss. Did you feel like you lost that? Um, I watched it over and over again. I think it could have been close, but mm -hmm. I, I, see, I thought the judges get used to me dominating, so I thought that they kind of uh, picked him in the sense. But I mean, I thought I won. I thought it was close. I think I won. I thought I was close. I don't think he beat me. Okay. But it's tough for me to say because I wasn't a judge, so. Mm -hmm. I know I lost, so I can't, I can't dispute it. And what was the fight itself like? Was it a tough fight? It was It was one of those days we didn't feel like fighting. Because we had one of those days we had to give an interview. And of course, it just don't come out right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, have the, that happens in boxing. Yeah. I don't think about that. I can't erase nothing. We do it. That's right. Hold on one sec. I, I just lost my page on you. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, man. I'm having like a computer problem here. See, that's what I mean. <laughs> just you. like that. That's what I'm talking yeah. about. Like, you yeah. get a chance to go over it again. But if I'm fighting, I can't you know, get a chance to do it again. And that's what sucks, right? Yeah. Oh, hold on. Do I get a copy of this? Yeah, I'm going to put it on on your Facebook's wall, and I'll let you know okay. as soon as it goes up there. It'll probably, right. it'll probably be up tonight, actually. I'm going to... Okay. Hold on one sec. I just got to find it. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay. Then tell me about the the next fight you had with Carlos Bates. How how did it feel getting back in the ring after? Uh, I just was in a hurry to get a victory. Mm -hmm. He was a tough guy. He had a nice record. Uh, if I stood, he nobody could beat me. Yeah. So it was just a matter of doing work and getting out there and doing what I do. Mm -hmm. Then then you fought Livingstone Bramble. What do you remember about Livingstone? Well, uh, I I seen him fight uh, TV quite a few times, but. No skill. Plus, he was my spine partner. So I know I could be like I know I could be Terrence Ali, but she never knew. So mm -hmm. therefore, I fought a little harder than I fought Terrence Ali. I fought a little smarter. Mm -hmm. Means that I just simply try to boss him. In. And I fought. I fought pretty good. It was pretty easy for him. Easy fight. Yeah, mm -hmm. no disrespect, but yeah, you. I, I don't think he's more skillful than I was. That's it. I mean. When when you're good, you make tough guys look easy. Yeah. You know. And what do you remember about your your fight with Sammy Fuentes? Oh, uh, it was tough. Yeah, that's what he I heard. Tough. Tough fighter. He, yeah, he's tough. Yeah. 
He fucked up to I beat him easy, but it was all tough all the way through. Every round was tough. Hmm. Every round, yeah, every round was tough. And what about what about your fight with Tony Martin? Easy. Easy fight? Yeah, I thought I just didn't think it'd be it was it was no disrespect to him as a fighter. I didn't think he was qualified enough to, to beat. Mm hmm And then right after that you got your shot at the main yeah. the world championship. Yeah. Against Robin Moore. Moore. Yeah. And what was that fight like? Easy. <laughs> <laughs> you just... Oh I I I think you beat me. Uh <laughs> And that was it, though. He wasn't as skillful as I was. I think the way I fought surprised him. Mm -hmm. I, I boxed and I fell and I fought. I beat him inside, beat him outside. Yeah. So I thought it was easy. And how'd that feel to hear your name? Great, new champion. great, 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 great. <laughs> Is that the dream come true? Yeah, I was in my top being born. one of the best days of my life. Yeah. How, how do you think that... Yeah. that you got better as a champion after that, or do you think? Um, I think I got better. I think I got better. Um, it's tough to say. Mm -hmm. I think at some point in time you learn to relax. You should. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Then you had that fir the first defense against Juan Laporte. Yeah. What was that fight like? Easy. Uh, <laughs> pretty easy. Yeah, pretty easy. Yeah. <laughs> It, it was just, it was easy. It's not this fit to the fighter. It just, it was easy to fight. Yeah, I hear you. And then Courtney Hooper. Yeah, Courtney was easy. Yeah. And then you had the fight. You you lost your title to Jake Rodriguez. What do you yeah, remember? Yeah, but that was, that was just so crazy to me. That he really sucked. Mm hmm I mean, not just he's just not too skillful as I am. But like I told you about having a bad day. Yep. You just can't have him. And I had one, and that was it. Were you? Did you train just as hard as you always did? Yeah, I trained. I just didn't have a good day. Mm -hmm. It didn't feel good to me. I, I was one of them days on the 13th. I remember it was Friday the 13th. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then you you won another fight, and then you fought Ray Oliveira. Yeah, Ray Oliveira has got a crazy, ugly style to me. Not skilled. He, he will come. He do a lot of punches, and he fights. He will come. He got one kind of style I never liked. Mm-hmm. And then you fought Jimmy Dioria. Yeah, was a little cop. Easy. <laughs> and was he a cop? Yeah, yeah please, yeah. <laughs> so you were happy beating him up. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 definitely. <laughs> but I got a little trouble, too, in that situation, as far as dealing with police. And, uh, it's all crazy. You got in trouble for it? Yeah, no, not for the fight, but this, we got, uh, I did before, couple, maybe a year or two after that. Oh, okay. Not for the fight, but just some other situation. Uh-huh. Yeah. A couple of years later, though? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And did you have to deal with Jimmy Dioria himself? <laughs> no, no, oh, no. Okay. He's from Pennsylvania. All right. <laughs> yeah, no. Nah. And then you fought right after him a young Fitz Vanderpool. What do you remember about that fight? Well, uh, easy. Uh -huh. The first round was happening, right? Mm -hmm. The way he shot upon him, it was going to be easy. It's going to be going to the body and break him down. Uh -huh. I guess you could just tell as a fighter what's going to be easy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then you fought Reggie Green after that? Yep. Is that a tough fight? Nope. It wasn't even long. Yeah, you made. It was too small. Yeah, how'd that feel winning that title back? Was it? Uh, it was, it was good only because they taught us so much junk. Mm-hmm. And yeah. uh, so, the way I did it, mm -hmm. it was pretty good. It felt great. Mm-hmm. And after that, you fought a tough guy, Tony Lopez. Did you find him tough? Yeah, yeah, I find him tough. Yeah. Every round. Every round was tough. Every round. What do you remember about him? What was what was so tough about him? Constant punch. Mm hmm Constantly, constant, constant, constant pressure. Hmm. So he tough, was he, he would tease the touch though. I could touch him easy. Yeah. He had a big head. Mm hmm <laughs> I mean it's, it's reality and I could touch him. 
Now, now, if I put this up, he's going to be offended if he hears it. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. That's true. And, uh, uh, I hit him a lot. Uh huh. I think he retired after that. Yeah, I think that was his last fight. I think yeah. so. Yeah. And then you had that second fight. You got revenge on Jake Rodriguez. Man took it. Oh yeah, that was great. That's how good, right? Yeah, good. We're still having the first. I was maybe mad. We're happy, but I was mad. I know I should do this on the first time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But you made it right though. Yeah. And then uh, let's see. After you got revenge on him, you fought Ray Oliveira again. Yeah. I want to get off my record. But I know his style always gives me problems. Mm-hmm. His style more than anybody because he got an ugly style I don't like. No. He got no way to fight a short style I just don't like. His mm-hmm. style I don't like. No. And how about the Israel Cardona fight? Young guy. He's gonna, Oh, for a guy from where you from? Yeah, he's from he's from Connecticut. <laughs> yeah, I'm from up there, right? You fought yeah, him. He, he was he was a real tough guy, but he wasn't that skillful. Yeah, you want a split decision with him? What would you yeah, think? Yeah, I thought I beat him, but. Mhm. Yeah. Mean, Hard puncher, though, right? Yeah, he can punch. Definitely can punch. Mhm. But um. I'm here, good decision. I think that might have been the, my second one, right? That was, yeah. You yeah, said so one, one, one loss. Yeah, you had one loss going into that fight, yeah. 25 and one. Yeah. So, and then you fought Alfonso Sanchez. I remember he fought Mickey Ward. Uh-huh. And he was just beating Mickey Ward up for every round, and then Mickey Ward landed like one liver shot, and the guy went down. What did you think of him? Yeah. He stopped you in, was it the third round or fourth round? I'm like, I'm fine. Those seven fights I don't even think about. You don't think? I don't think about nothing but loss. I don't think too much about loss. Mm -hmm. I try to erase it from my mind for real. That's good. (laughs) I wish I could do that. Yeah, but but, but the reality is I just really ain't like fighting no more. Your heart was out of the game? Yeah. Yeah. I love fight, but I went into the fight game no more. It stopped being fun. Mm-hmm. Why was it? No, if you if you notice about the fighting is that I stopped fighting like where I used to fight with just regularly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What what? Just, what burnt you out from boxing? Was it the business end of it or the, the business? Yeah. Why? Yeah. What, it wasn't in fun no more. what in particular happened? Was it the decisions that you lost that you thought you won? No, it was uh, content management change and, and just everything you do to stop being fun. Mm-hmm. Stop yeah. being more, more for money and just ugly and like it. Mm-hmm. You ended up fighting, uh, and you got a few wins after that, Alfonso Sanchez, and you fought Larry Marks. Yeah, he definitely sp- ain't much over than me. Definitely, you know, I just want to know I should have quit. Mm-hmm. Him. He definitely not a skipper. Yeah, yeah. No, no, that's why I should have just quit. Mm-hmm. Were you, were you yeah. training just as hard, though? Yeah, yeah, I, I train hard all the time. Mm-hmm. But but some if, people, I just don't, I just don't, I just don't, I just don't want to do the love. Yeah, it's the mental, mental part of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's too tough to, to, to be successful. When did you feel yourself losing love for the game? Uh, we, we, we stopped being too upset. No, was it? Like that? Yeah, it was way back. When too upset broke up. Mm-hmm. Stopped being fun. Yeah. Do you stay in contact with the other two? Very yeah, much I still do, yeah. Yeah. A bunch of good guys. Yeah. And, um, your last fight, let's see, you fought Robert Frazier. Anything special yeah. about Robert Frazier? Um, no. Nothing special. Uh, not really. Uh, what happened was, uh, I just didn't feel like fighting. Mm-hmm. I really, when I was started first, I really didn't want to, I wanted to fight, but I didn't want to fight. Yeah. We came up together. We was on the same team. So it's like, if I hit him, you're going to hurt him. You, you get in your mind, uh, hit him. The first round, I got a nice one, two, crawl with a good shot. But in my mind, I back up instead of go to him. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, this this my man, we came up together. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So it's hard to fail. Yeah. And do what I do and not try to win. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, part of it is just being there together. Hmm. Yeah. And somebody brought me that idea, and man, I told the guy no. Uh, the track taught me, and so I said no, no, no. He told me he'll fight me. That's why I took it. Hmm. So he wanted to fight you. He agreed to fight me. Mm-hmm. And I said, all right, well, we go ahead. No. But I helped him out through his career. No? Yeah, if she saved me to the time and place, I'll stop at any time. That's hmm. nice the truth. Yeah. Then you had your last fight with Darian Ford. Did you know that was going to be yeah. your last fight? Or did you? No, I mean, my last fight was years before that. That's why I just fought just to fight. Mm-hmm. You know, you still love the sport. You still think you, you, you still think you can fight the way you used to fight. You have one eyes, but it don't flow like it used to flow. Mm-hmm. It's not. It don't come out as natural like. No. So you you decided to quit. What made you come to the decision to do it? To quit. Well, if a guy like that be me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, time to quit. Yeah. And no disrespect, but he not expelling me. That's just how it is. Yeah, it happens, man. That's it. Yeah, that's what I know. So it's time to quit. That's it. And when people like that can beat you, and he ain't beat me, but I didn't win. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right. Yeah, so I just, yeah, I'm done. Yeah. I'm done with this trap. Mm-hmm. So now I just try and keep. Do you do you train kids now? Do you train anybody? Yes, I, yes, I have a gym down in Rochester. I train little fighters. And have a couple of national champions. And, uh, it's pretty, it'll be uh, pretty good pros. That's nice. I have, I have a kid going uh, next next Friday. Mm-hmm. His name Brandon Williams. He do train a super golf champion. And uh, you can fight. Yeah, I'm actually trying to interview some some amateurs now. You think he'll be interested in? Yeah, 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 definitely. Want to give me a number? Uh, yeah, please. Hold on one sec. Yeah, I'll give you a number today. Yeah, probably call you up. All right, that sounds good to me. Well, what type of guys you want to train? Just little guys, beginners, national champions. Yeah, I want to. Have a have all the above. Uh huh. That's cool, man. And I, I saw you actually at uh, the. I, I went to the Rodriguez Rosinski fight. I don't know. Uh-huh. And I saw you there. That was cool. Good experience. Uh-huh. See you. Yes, sir. Work in the corner. You look good, man. I, I, I enjoy working the corner. I feel good. So you, you like that side of the business, though, now? Or is there. Not really, not really. But I know a little more about the side of the business, so therefore. I try to help guys the ones that said things that I didn't know. Mm-hmm. That I know now that I can try to get a guy up to those things. Yeah. And, and, uh, let me see. No, I lost my spot. My computer, like, has this thing where it, it just clicks by itself. Weird. Uh-huh. And, uh, what, what do you, huh? again. I'm going to have to edit this. <laughs> this is a mess. So who who do you have that you're most proud of right now that you expect the biggest things from? Uh, all of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I expect big things from myself. I, I think I'm very knowledgeable of boxing. I enjoy it. I'm a student always. Mm-hmm. I, I enjoy teaching. I can teach. Everybody can fight, can teach. Yeah, that's true. So, so um, do you think you're a better trainer or a better fighter? <laughs> what were you doing? Uh, definitely a better fighter. Okay. <laughs> but I'm good at both. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And uh, do you, you still do follow boxing, right? No. Nope. You don't follow uh, it at all? No, because the love differs. Wow. I follow, I follow a person who entertains me. 
Mm -hmm. Over there in town, I like watching Mayweather fight. Pacquiao's okay, but uh, he has so many good skills. Yeah. He showed me uh, a player who's very determined and had a lot of energy. Mm -hmm. But not great skills. Yeah. And what, what, who do you it's think? Not, it's not disrespectful, but it's the truth. Yeah. If you watch, he don't show great skills, he show great energy, and great determination, but not much skill. Mm -hmm. Who do you think? Well, maybe show more skills. Oh, definitely. Yeah. You yeah. guys got skills. I could never see uh, Peggy out watching the tape. Yeah. How I do this or how I do that. <laughs> I can see maybe with them studying. Yeah? Uh huh. I can see him study. I can see him. I can see how he you can see him think when he fights. Mm hmm. That's the, you know what I mean? Yeah, he planning, planning, planning. But well, Peggy out, he wants just goals, goals, goals. Yeah. That's why he gets hit so much. Mm-hmm. You don't look at it like, you don't look at it like, you may want to look at it. That's true. The guy was in a crib doing it. <coughs> <coughs> and <clears throat> what kind of fight do you think uh, Miguel Cotto could give Floyd? Uh, I think he'd give him a uh, 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 not good one. <laughs> I think he'll come, but I think once he gets his, it's all going to change, all that aggression. Mm -hmm. uh, trying to, I think once he gets hit with the sharp, sharp plays that he throw, he's he gonna feel different. And Toyo seeing the person and being there with him. Mm -hmm. It's a big difference. Oh, yeah. This is what I do. This is what I do to him. I see him getting there with him. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's a, you got a short pool. You, you can't just stay there right now. Now you gotta react to him. Can you do that? Mm -hmm. That's a, that speaks a lot. A lot of fire can't do it. That's true. And what do you think uh, is going to happen with the Pacquiao Tim Bradley fight? Do you even follow them? Tim, Tim uh, I think I think Pacquiao will beat him. Mm -hmm. I just don't like Pacquiao style. Not to disrespect, but as a, as a boxer myself, I mm -hmm. know what skills are. I think he has good determination and great great end conditioning. Mm -hmm. But uh, anything further than that, I just don't see him. That to it's like it's three hours smart up after the fight. Mm hmm And then one more fight's coming up with Bernard Hopkins and Chad Dawson. What do you think of that? What do you think of Bernard uh, Hopkins? I think Bernard Hopkins is very skillful. But I think time's starting to catch up with him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You sound like you're, you uh, know your thing. Uh, I think if, if Brock's impressed him hard, uh, I, I, I felt like a lot when he took a little, like he, I like he took a dive in the shit. He can hit low, it hurts. Mm hmm But not to that extent. So you think Bernard took a dive? Yeah, I think, yeah, I think, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think he has great knowledge of the game. And he did have some things he's done, and I love I was trying for that. So do you expect but, to see him get stopped though? My respect, my respect don't feed him, so I know he cares less about mm. what I think. <laughs> but, from fire to fire, that was ugly. Yeah. Well, he might care what you think. Ah, <laughs> uh, say again? He might care what you think. Well, I don't think too much. <laughs> but, I just don't like, I don't like the way he does that one. Hmm. Yeah. You know, we need to fight a boy. If I were to press him a little more, it might have been different. Hmm. Yeah. What do you What do you think? Uh, you think Chad's gonna stop him? Uh, I hope not. Hmm. I hope not. I don't know if he will or not, but I hope he don't. Yeah, he's trained by your boy John Scully. What do you think of John Scully as a trainer? I love John Scully. That's my man. Yeah. You see him a lot? Yeah. Yeah. I show him around. Uh. I see him last time when I was in up that way. I saw him. He's pretty cool. Yeah, I saw, I saw a picture of you and I think Junior Jones. Was Junior Jones in it? Yeah, Junior Jones was in there. That's cool. But John Junior Scully, Jones. He, uh, he, he, he has great knowledge of the game. Yeah, yeah. And he's very knowledgeable. You can tell people who love boxing. Mm-hmm. Yep. He, he loves, you can tell he loves it. Yeah, he does.